Well, crews in Wayne County are cleaning up an oil spill. This in the Rouge River. Now, according to state leaders, the leak is coming from a 55 gallon drum at a business on Michigan Avenue. The Western Wayne County hazmat team put booms in the water Sunday morning to contain that spill. We're told the leak was accidental and the business is taking full responsibility. It's unclear how long it'll take to clean up that spill. And the water woes for the Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy doesn't stop there. It was about two weeks ago when a cancer causing chemical was released into the Huron River. Tribar Technologies in Wixom released a report on the incident Friday. The company says a now former employee purposely overrode plant alarms 460 times, allowing that release to occur. Well, thankfully, two weeks of testing detect only a small amount of the carcinogen. In a statement released Sunday, Eagle says, quote, while the release of hexavalent chromium into the river system was much less than initially feared, any unauthorized discharge into a waterway is of concern. The department says its investigation is ongoing. Well, back here at home, Detroit police are asking for your help finding a man wanted in connection with the deadly hit and run crash. It happened August 5th at Algonquin and Kerchival, just north of Jefferson on the city's east side. Investigators are trying to identify this man. Now, they believe he was involved in a crash that killed a woman in her 20s. If you have any information, you're asked to call Detroit police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP, where you can remain anonymous. It's a comfortable morning this afternoon. High temperatures going to be around 80 degrees, maybe the lower 80s, and there is a very low chance of an isolated shower this afternoon, but overall still pretty dry and uh, temperatures comfortable near average this time of year around 80 degrees tonight. Partly cloudy, a low of 62.